Caroline just called me and goes, I cut my finger and like lifts up this bandage. And I was like, I just cut my finger. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show you any blood, but I cut my finger as well. Like honestly, can we stop being twin? Brooks on the last episode of season one, Quantico. Wow, that was a crazy time. Caroline has returned home with an abundance of cookies that are no longer in abundance, but. Fruit and stuff. No, yeah, yeah, it's kind of gross. French fries, two green meal, hair. Sweets. Mm. What are you doing? Are you recording that? Yeah. Hey. Brooke, I have some presents for you. Yeah. you Everybody present got some. Yeah. Look, she just came back giving, just handing out. Wait, what are my presents? Bird's bees. I thought I was special. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you don't wear color, do you? On your lips. Mm. Well, then I will not give you the other ones. There oh, you go. Wow. Oh, you're Santa Claus. <laughs> Brooke is buying her boyfriend. Those blackhead nose strips for Christmas. We all need them. Brooke has leftover milk for some reason. So Mary's about to make us some lattes. You act like that's a weird thing. What? You act like it's a weird thing that I have leftover milk. I was just commenting. That's normal. Okay. Also, Caroline walked in my room. So most of my friends fear me in the morning, fear waking me up and give me- She locks her door and is so mean. And literally be so mean. But like wish death upon your family. <laughs> what? Okay, false. <laughs> However, Caroline is a little too comfortable. So this morning, it's like 8.50 in the morning. That's not a like unreasonable time to be sleeping when you have nothing to do for the day. So I'm asleep and my phone's like on night mode so I didn't see this till after. But she called me like two times, texted me. I wake up to her banging on my door. She's like hammering the door down and so I selectively ignored it and then checked my phone and saw she had called me and I ignored it for a while and eventually called her back. All of that was to uh, see if I wanted to go to brunch with her. Meredith made me a latte. Thanks, Meredith. So how's it going, Brooke? <laughs> I just look over and find her laying like this. Comment some words of encouragement for Brooke Please. slash to all college students. Seriously. Slash probably to yourself if you're using this as a procrastination tool. Apparently putting up yesterday's vlogmas. This is the single worst thing I've ever put up in my whole life. <sighs> my life is not that interesting all the time. <laughs> uh, what you guys are seeing over these few days before I go back home. But at the moment, I'm currently ordering food from True, my favorite place ever here. And if you go there, what I recommend getting, what I always get, is a sandwich with sourdough bread, two ounces of turkey, two ounces of bacon, uh, oh, whoa, almost did one slice there. Two slices of pepper jack cheese and avocado. Heavy on the avocado. And what I appreciate about this place is that it's only 25 cents, whether you want a little or a lot. And that is just a very reasonable thing if you ask me, seeing as some places will charge you like two bucks for like one little sliver. So I'm about to go pick that up and then just come back. It's gonna be freezing, it's so cold and my hair is still damp from when I showered earlier. My housemate Catherine offered to drive me but that's just pathetic so I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> we were both gonna go there for dinner but she has groceries left here so she's gonna whip up something to eat and I'm just gonna go get that to go cause it doesn't make any sense actually. I don't know if I've explained this but I like am pretty much out of groceries. Like I have adequate like breakfast and snack foods but like nothing like really dinnery or like actual meal food. So rather than go buy groceries because that just feels kind of pointless since I'm leaving soon, I'm just gonna order food tonight and I've just been winging it. Also just a mini haul of the Burt's Bees stuff. Yes, this is where I cut my finger. So that looks really pretty. Um, the stuff that Caroline brought back from her little event. We have this Burt's Bees cleansing oil. So I guess that's like a makeup remover or it's just an oil thingy. I really don't know. We have various just chapstick options, which I love. They're like my go-to chapstick. Um, and then I have this like lip crayon thingy, so I'm interested to see the pigmentation of that. And then also just these other three, which I haven't opened, but I'm pretty sure these are colored. So I think they're just like a moisturizing lip balm scenario. Yeah, tinted lip balm. As I cloak myself in a sweatshirt to survive this uh, journey. Um, just a random note, I've started to like think through my end of the year like videos that I make, which if you're like new-ish and you haven't seen them since like I mean they were actually years ago I have like a one second video a day for like my sophomore like scholastic year not like the annual like actual year of that year but like 
my sophomore year of college. I did a like 2013 year interview video, which was, I mean, that my editing skills were like below what they are now, but it's still like a cool video, just like recapping my year. Oh, I did a junior year interview video, which I'll put, and then I am like starting to get thinking about the videos I have coming up at the end of the year, which is interesting because I've been working on them all along a little bit, not like tons. So as soon as vlogmas is over, so like on the 26th, I will put up my Christmas day vlog on the 26th for day 25 of vlogmas. And I probably will not have any more vlogs uh, or videos. Well, yeah, probably nothing until the end of the year when I have a lot of things to unveil. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do like a best of Vlogmas video on the 27th or something. Hard to say, hard to say. It's not sweatshirt I want. How do I lose sweatshirt? All right, I've got to get to moving because Catherine's going to be done cooking and I just can't even find anything. And my hair's wet and I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. First time braving the public this morning, so... Here's what I'm wearing. UNC sweatshirt over gray. One of you guys commented uh, or tweeted me saying that you were wearing a girl outfit to your exam. So that brought me a lot of joy. I was just thinking to myself about how I always feel like I'm gonna die when I walk at night. But here you are. What is this? Oh, Souvenirs? Boxes. My boxes? Oh! Perfect. Do you want to walk with me to True? No. No? You sure? Yeah. Alright. Gotta show everybody what we're dealing with here. Mm. I don't know if you can tell how good that is, but they put like some kind of drug in here that just makes it taste <gasps> so good. I think it's the cheese. We do need hype music. <laughs> okay, so I mentioned this in a main channel video lately, but this will become, this will all make sense in a moment from I'll bring this up. Um, but I do not have an aux cord in my car because I have like the inputs for where I could have that, but I have too many other things plugged in at all times, including my GPS, my radar detector thing, so that I don't ever get pulled over. Never gotten pulled over, so keeping that thing plugged in. And so, basically, all this to say, I wanna make a new CD to go in my car before I go home. So if any of you guys would like to comment some song requests, I don't know if you know my music taste at all or not. No worries if not. I just would prefer no country because I just am not down with country. I am not one of those people who is stressed out by having like 40 tabs open at a given time. So this is actually my browser window all the time, except for I will actually have that times like five windows open. So right now it's only one, which is a record. And so at the moment I'm just catching up on people's vlogs or just videos in my subscription box that I have not watched yet. When you guys know me better than I know myself. So I posted this little sweater that I'm selling and I said like I couldn't remember where it's from and someone commented, I think you said it was from Target in a Vlogmas in 2013. And I so remember wearing this in that Vlogmas and I'm gonna go back and check. This still doesn't like, I'm not confident this is from Target just because the tag looks super weird. But now I at least know I can check since I suddenly recall thanks to you that um, I mentioned this in a video way back. This is a vlog and I'm confident. Oh, LOL, here we have it. Yet another meal sure. that Meredith cooked. Some nice presents for us all. Some goblets of water. <laughs> you can't go. No, okay, yeah, no. I was so teeny. Nordstrom. Like 18 minutes deep into Remy's little like haul video. Guys. So here it is. There's so many things. In She's just like that single nicest person ever. I know just about Remy just because this feels relevant. So like I was living like nearish to her this summer and our power was out on one occasion in Monica and Shelby's place. She was just so sweet and was like, you should have told me I would have brought flashlights and like, which like obviously like we can just go buy flashlights, like whatever. Even with like trying to figure out how I was gonna get the key when I was first moving in, she was like volunteering like everything. I don't know, she's just the nicest, like happiest person. So if you're ever wondering about, I don't know, a lot of YouTubers are different than they are in real life. Remy is not one of them. Okay, so in an effort to save this vlog, I asked on my Snapchat for you guys to just submit some questions so that I could answer them. Okay, this is someone's dog. <laughs> Hello. Someone asked for my favorite roommate. I cannot answer that question. Hey Morgan, my question to you is who is your favorite YouTuber and I love you. First of all, I love you too. Thank you for watching. So many questions. Secondly, this is a very difficult question and it's very hard because I don't watch tons of YouTubers. Other than, oops, I don't watch those YouTubers other than like my friends, really. This is so tough. Um, here's basically who I watch. I watch Monica's vlogs. I watch uh, Adrian's videos. I watch Janine's main channel videos. I watch like selective videos from my friends like Danielle and Brooke and Kevin and Shelby. And like literally the list just goes down. Lately I've been watching Claudia's vlogs just because 
she's really pretty and they're entertaining i don't know I really like casey neistat i'm excited for his holiday video i've been watching this girl named whitney who does like fitnessy stuff just because she's really funny if you could move to any country for a year where would it be and who's the one person you would bring um, definitely somewhere in Europe. I want to go to Europe post-grad because I never studied abroad or anything. I would want to go anywhere. I'd want to go to Greece and I would want to bring Caroline slash Adrian. <laughs> what made you choose UNC? Watch my main channel video that is all about UNC because this is too long of an answer. What do you do to keep motivated while writing papers? I have my last month semester and I'm already ready to give up. Haha, <laughs> loving your vlogmas. Hashtag kind of a ghost viewer. Thank you, thank you. Um, I would say that this is so hard. So personally, I'm someone who saves papers for the last minute. I know that if I have three days to sit here and write a paper, I'm gonna, well, A, wait till the last minute anyway, but if I like, let's say I start three days in advance for some like rare reason, I'm gonna start writing it and I'm gonna be like so slow. It's just gonna be like the least efficient process ever. And then I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna pick it up like eight hours later and then write another paragraph. It's just like not gonna be efficient. So I always wait until the last minute and just like pound it out, but that's not, I mean, probably the best decision for a lot of people, but I just know myself and that I write the best when I'm like under pressure, when I know it has to be done. For example, the night before I went to New York this most recent time, I was going to New York for a week. I started a eight page paper at 9.30 the night before and I did it in an hour and a half and I got 95 on it. So, but that's just like how I think best. So I would say just give yourself little mini rewards throughout, like by the page increment. I don't know. Good luck to you. Good luck to all of you guys studying for finals. Favorite class at UNC, also go heels. Um, Econ 327, Media Ventures and Entrepreneurship, taught by Jed Simmons. That has hands down been my favorite class. I just opened one and then it went away. <laughs> I don't know what it said. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off the vlog for this evening so that I have time to edit it because tomorrow, you guys, Tomorrow's about to be my crackdown study day, which I dread more than anything because it's just gonna suck. I could have been studying all along, but again, it's like, I just know I'm not gonna actually be studying unless I like am feeling the pressure. So, so thank all of you guys for watching this video. Please leave a comment below letting me know how your finals are going, how your, yeah, just like what day you finish. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see all of you tomorrow.